Do you have anything else to add maybe to screen addiction and then also that depression that comes from it or like feeling like they're missing out on stuff? Yeah. Well, so this is a very interesting question trying to answer in the context of them being two years into a pandemic. Yes. And so one of the ways to think about it is young teens and developing teens, these are their learning machines. Their brains are hungry for input. They um, are soaking up the world. And their worlds for the last two years went from being like a color photograph to a black and white. And so I think a lot of what looks like becoming very, very drawn to their screens is actually looking for stimulation. I mean, they, they just, they're, they, you know, they don't all have, I mean, hopefully most of them do now, the stimulation of walking down a hallway at school, like they're used to very high levels of stimulation. So what I would say is the way you deal with screen addiction is you get them super busy with other stuff. You know, and, and I know this is hard. It's hard in the winter where sometimes <laughs> it's hard in a pandemic. Do what you can. Like, if there is, you know, they can be shoveling somebody else's driveway. They can be learning how to knit. They can be taking, you know, they can be in charge of making dinner. Keep them busy. And that's what I will say, like, for me, the real tragedy in many ways of the pandemic, I mean, there's massive tragedies, but the much more kind of pedestrian tragedy is just the loss of activity for kids and the loss of all the health that comes with being busy kids. Yeah. So get them busy, crowd out the screens, don't fight the screens, you know, um, in terms of like you versus the screen, fight the screens by being like the screen versus all this other stuff your kids are supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah.